Hi, this is Jackie with Saluzio. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create hyperlinks. I occasionally want our website visitors to get to another location, whether that's an, an external resource or maybe a file or another website where they can find out more about an event that's going on or um, that maybe like the diocese is putting on or um, a registration form or even just like a daily readings resource. So for example, let's, um, in order to create a hyperlink, first I have to go find where I want my new website visitors to end up. In this case, I want to get to uh, the USCCB website is what I'm gonna do for simplicity. And I can click on um, daily reading, so I don't necessarily want audio. So let's go to today's reading. I just want this version. Um, once I'm here, I can click on the address bar, the URL, the domain, whichever one you want to call it. I can control C to copy that with my keyboard or right click and choose copy. Um, and this is going to be specific to May 18th, 2019. However, if I click on hover over daily readings here in the middle of the page and I right click there, there's a menu that shows up. I should have the option to either copy link location or copy link address. I'm going to click on that and, and retain that for where I want my use website visitors to go. Back inside my article, uh, I'm gonna go to edit an existing article or work on a new article. I'm gonna type in the text that I want people to be able to click on to get to where we're gonna go. Notice I'm not just pasting that URL. I actually have to, um, there are one or two ways. If I just do paste the URL on this screen, it's not actually linked. If I save my, article and go check my work it's just regular text and it's not clickable if i click on it nothing's happening so to create a hyperlink i have to either type in some different text or paste that link and then highlight that link and choose the chain link icon on this screen it's going to pop up a new window when there's a url field and that's where i want to actually paste in um, that link to that site it does need to have like an http or an https at the beginning of it for it to be effective. The only other field to be concerned about on this screen is my target. And uh, if I'm leaving the site I've been working on, I definitely, my rule of thumb, again, my rule of thumb, it's not required, but I think it's good practice to choose new window when creating a uh, hyperlink that's gonna go to an outside website, or an ex we call that an external URL versus an internal URL. I'm gonna click on okay, and so now that I can see that's linked because on this screen, the text is red. If I hover over it, it turns blue. Uh, I can either keep the full address or maybe I want them to be able to click on daily readings. And I'm going to uh, do the same process and paste in, um, in the chain link field that pops up. I'm gonna just paste in the URL and choose my target to a new window and click okay. I can save and close and go to the website and refresh to check my work. Um, one more thing we can do to that uh, link inside of the articles screen is I can highlight the text one more time. Under the formats drop down, I can click on read or read on or button um, because this is one of our sites that we're still uh, prepping for training. We're still building this site. Then this is just one of those little um, kinks that we'll need to work out because on this screen, I see red on red. Um, but on the website, what do I see? I still see red on red. So even though I hover over it, it's a different color. Um, if that's not working for some reason, let us know. It should be like white text on a red button. I do want to just show you that that's a possibility to make your link a button, um, even though it's not configured on this new site. Uh, thanks again for watching. Let us know if you have questions. Take care.